This is Linton Lass. She's an amazing boat. She's in lovely condition. She was built in 2013 by XR&D and fitted out by Kingfish and Narrowboats. Stunning job both of them have done too. She's 60 feet long, semi-traditional stern. She was last blacked in August 2020, epoxy two packs, that's good for a long time. There's a whole survey available in the office for viewing, that was conducted in August 2020. And you may recognise her, we last sold her in August 2020, but life's taken a turn and she's back for sale. The engine was serviced in July 2020, solar panels on the roof there, 160 watts with a Victron controller, paintwork's in lovely condition, nice side hatch there with glazed panels in. Big windows on the boat, so nice and light. The cratch cover's in good condition. I've rolled it all the way up. And the locker there in the bows, that's completely storage. The gas bottles are on the back deck on the Linton Lass. There's an anchor in there, fenders and things. She's got a bow thruster. It's a Vitas 55 kgf. The propeller was new in August 2020. Glazed cratch board. Storage here either side. The well deck itself, by the way, is four feet three inches long. The bow thrust is in here. Oh, there's the anchor, actually, not in the forward locker. Storage on that side as well. Lovely front doors, they've got windows in. And then we go, she's fitted out in ash, painted ply with solid ash trim. The floor itself, engineered oak. The saloon is huge, it's 14 feet 10 inches long, best part of 15 feet. There's the side hatch. There used to be an L-shaped dinette in here, that's been taken out by, well since we last sold her, but there's room to put one back in and still room for a couple of armchairs or sofa beds. These armchairs by the way are part of the sale but subject to negotiation, they're new. The stove is a Salamander Hobbit, 4 kilowatt solid fuel stove. Head height on the boat, by the way, is six foot five inches. All the lighting is LED. And the galley is eight feet long. The worktop's a reconstituted granite. It's a really lovely kitchen, this. Lots of storage. Here's one of the magic corners. Lots of drawer space. You hear Bumble chewing his bone. Sorry about that. High level oven and grill. It's a Thetford Midi Prima oven and grill and a spin flow four burner gas hob you saw there on the worktops. 60 litre 12 volt fridge. It's an inlander and a 27 litre freezer. That was brand new in 2016. And more storage and worktops on the other side of the boat. This is quite clever. drawers and cupboards. You saw the radiator in the, in the sitting room. The central heating is a hurricane diesel fired central heating system. That's good. I like that. Lots of boats have nowhere to put the bin. People usually find a place where that's got its own ready-made one. And there's the view down the galley. Super light this boat. So nicely finished. The bathroom's a walk-through one. All very posh in here. There's an extractor light in the roof there, up in the ceiling. The loo itself in here is a Sunny Marine pump out. There's a 200 litre holding tank. <clears throat> Basin ceramic. It's on a granite worktop again. Little cupboard over that. Who's his luxury this boat? And she's in such nice condition, she's been left super clean. Heated towel rail there. The hurricane does that. And into the bedroom. The bathroom, by the way, was five feet long, and the bedroom is ten feet three inches long. It's a cross bed, six feet two inches long, five foot wide. Little locker by the bed, and there's the washing machine. It's a candy aquamatic that does run off the inverter. It's a three and a half kilo washing machine. More than adequate, I had one on my boat. 
that just flips down to make the bed up. And you've got some bungs there for the portholes. There are six 18 inch portholes towards the back of the boat here, actually. They all open as well. It's worth mentioning the curtains in the saloon are brand new. There's a wardrobe here, plenty of good storage there. Another little locker at the other side of the bed, cupboards over. Nice little arched piece of woodwork above that porthole. Bedroom itself, can't remember if I mentioned, 10 feet 3 inches long. Through into this area towards the back of the boat, another radiator. More portholes. And in here, here's a surprise, it's another loo. This one's a cassette. It's a ceramic Thetford loo. There are two cassettes for that actually, ceramic basin in there, so that's really quite practical. Depending on which side of the bed you're sleeping, you've got a loo at either end or either side of the bed. Electrics in there, and there's your inverter in there. It's a 1.6 kilowatt Victron Multi Plus inverter charger. Storage cupboards up here. It's actually an awful lot of storage on this boat. And here are instrument panels, controls for the heating and whatnot. And out onto the semi trad deck. The engine's in here. It's a Beta Marine 43 Green Line. Just over 2,000 hours on it. There's a hot water tank on the left and the battery bank on the right. The hot water is heated by the engine, the Hurricane diesel boiler, or there is an immersion heater on board. And the batteries, substantial bank of batteries, six domestics, 110 amp hours each. They were all new in July this year. Two 13 kilo gas bottles there. So all the domestics were new this year. There's one bow thruster battery new in June last year. And the starter battery is new as well this year. So all the batteries are pretty new. There's the view from the helmsman's position. And we'll have another walk back through the boat. Glorious boat, this. I just love the layout, love the fit out, love the light. Just feels lovely. Water tanks 450 litres, it's stainless steel. There is a water purifying tap in the galley. It's galvanic isolator on board, the landline hookup and cable. There is a TV aerial point for a television in the saloon here, and there's also a brand new Wi-Fi aerial on board. So that's it. With reluctance, we'll leave Linton Lass. She's a wonderful boat. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price on our website, www.rubberboats.co.uk.